good morning my name is Robin and welcome to my channel um, this is a new channel for me this is living lives journey portion of what I've started when I transferred everything over from my rock and Robin .com. Um, so if you followed me from that channel thank you so much for coming back and joining me here if you're new to my channel please subscribe as we're continue on with a new experiment in life uh, life is always constantly about trying new things re-evaluating how things turn out and trying to figure out what the next step is going to be in life that's where we're at right now cause... so my name is Robin I am 45 years old I am married to my handsome prince Henry who is an active duty marine we currently live here in 29 Palms California which is located in the Mojave Desert. We are aboard a military base known as McAxey, Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palm. So we live in, no kidding, a desert. It's one of the largest deserts here in, in the United States. So it's, my husband has been active duty for now uh, 26 years. So this has been um, kind of a very interesting ride for us. He is an infantry Marine. Uh, this is what he enjoyed. The, he truly does enjoy being a Marine. Um, I am a mom of three beautiful children. Uh, my son became a Marine and he finished his contract and got, a, got out. Sorry. I have also two, uh, my son and my two daughters. Um, one lives in Oregon, the other one lives in Texas, who has my two grandbabies. My two grandbabies are five now and three years old. Uh, it's wonderful to have that experience of being a grandparent. It's just a really interesting involvement, but it's also heart tugging of the heartstrings because I see them from afar. I can only get out there maybe three times so far in their lives. Um, so it's, I see them by a FaceTime. So it's kind of heart sick. It's like, I miss them, but we talk all the time. But yes, we live out here and that's, this is our lifestyle as a military family. Uh, so what do I do? I am a career-based volunteer, I guess would be the best way to explain it. Besides being a housewife or a domestic engineer is what I call it, um, I balance the books. I make sure that everything that is necessary that we need, we have. My husband will call me up at like, um, like recently, he called me up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Hey, babe, I'm coming in from the field. I, can you grab this, this, and this? And for me, because... Um, what we didn't need we need now and I'll grab all of his gear and make sure that that's there it's very rare that that happens because he has everything they need but something will break and they don't have the tools and I'll grab the tools and meet him at a specific point so you know that's what I do this is what I do I also volunteer at church um, I am an audio visual audio visual uh, tech person I do things you think I would be better here but I don't have the stuff the supplies and stuff that I'm slowly trying to knit pit and uh, get things together I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to do tech stuff I don't go to school for that but I would love to be able to do that but I'm paying off a, a student loan eh. it's life right true life um, but I am a career like what I would say right now my my career is volunteering I do things uh, that help and educate family members that come into this area um, where they can find things and do shopping ideas and stuff like that that's what I do out here um, why the name change um, I was my rock and Robin for many 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 years but at this point in my life as I've grown older grown up um, into this I've done this for many years on YouTube I've done this for over eight years on YouTube um, it's not that I don't look for um, like I need to have thousands or millions subscribers that's not what I do this for what I started out wanting the purpose of doing this I kind of went away from and I found that I was doing something that really I have interests I have hobbies and this is one of them but I'm an introvert and I, I this was my way of connecting with other people. This is what I did, is I reached out because I felt secluded and separated from um, people, and I wanted to meet other people that may have been feeling the same way as I did. And somehow I got away from that. I know how, why, because I wanted to connect in su such a way that maybe somebody would reach out and we could communicate, but it didn't happen. And I started getting more into what I was doing than what I should be doing. And it became something completely different. Now, I do still like doing plan with me's. And I may show you time for time. Plan with me's, you know, planning is what I do. I do that. I was doing it already, but it was private. And somehow I, I just, I don't know. Somehow that got into something else. I may go back to blogging or vlogging, you know, video my day to days when we start doing something more. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Um, 
but because I started that channel under a name with an email address and everything else attached to it under that name, YouTube won't let me change it. There's a certain criteria that YouTube requires and because of that, I can't change it. So I have to shut that down to create this. Um, and so that's where the hubbub became and that's why I needed to change. I, that's how we had to create this whole new thing. And that's okay. I didn't want to have to keep paying for stuff that I wasn't using. I didn't want to have to fork over more money for something that I was just not really feeling the passion or the drive. I want to talk. I want to inspire. I want to be inspired. And that was the reason why I did this to begin with is communication. That whole idea of assisting and feeling like I was had a purpose and somehow I felt like a deflated balloon with no idea where I was floating to. It was just like completely eh. Okay, so what's coming up? Well, me and my family are going through a massive change. Um, as I said, my husband has been in the Marine Corps for 26 years. My husband and I have been married for 10. We've been together for 15 years. And it's we've been through massive changes in our lives together and apart. Um, but my husband is going through his 11th deployment. As we're preparing for it, we're going through training. He's going through training exercises and stuff like that with military. If you're not familiar with military, there's always schooling, training, blah, 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 before, you know, then we go through these things called deployment. Deployments can last six, nine, a year, 14 months. I think the Army does uh, 16 to 18 months uh, deployment ranges. And kudos to them uh, and to the families that support them. Wow. We do up to a year. Um, but with that, uh, we are about to go through another deployment. And this will be his 11th. There's a lot we're dealing with. But we've been in military. Every time we've moved, we've been in military housing. And we've decided that we're not going to do that anymore. Um, we've invested so much money living in government housing. And every change and every venue. The only time that we've not lived in government housing is when we've been... Uh, put you know recruiting duty or I and I duty and things of that nature where we uh, lived had to live in civilian communities or when housing was not available and we had to spend a certain amount of time in civilian uh, communities and invest into the community that we were living in for a short amount of period of time but most of the time we've always lived in government housing well there's gonna become a time when military life is going to end for us and we don't know where the next duty station will be. And the end of du our duty stations is coming up. We're getting that. We already received a notification that uh, a shift of stuff. Like, I know I said this last time. And if you guys followed me any time before that on my other channel. But something came up. And the reason why we're still here is because um, an emergency situation occurred. And we had to stay put. So that's why we're here for one more year. Um, but we do have pending orders to a different location, but they, the location has still not been given. There's two, sh two shots, two slots open, um, but we're not sure if it's East Coast or West Coast. So um, yeah, that's up in the air. Once we get that con confirmation of what we're gonna do, we already know we're moving out of here. So when he gets back from his deployment, this is what I have to do, deal with. I will be breaking down a three bedroom, three bath, <laughs> Two car garage, I will be in a way bringing down our two vehicles, our two Harleys, our two dogs, bringing everything down to fit into basically a one bedroom. So I will be selling roughly about 30 to 40 percent of our property. Then the rest of it will be broken down from that out of 60 percent of what's remaining. 20% of that will be going into our one bedroom, but the rest will be going into storage. Now, a large portion of that 20% will be my husband's military you know, gear that he needs to continue out for the remainder of years before we retire. So I have to get this, figure all this out, pack it up, and be able to move it into where we're going. There's a lot of stuff for me to do, so that's what's coming up in the upcoming events is my husband's going on deployment, then when he comes home, is where are we going and then the change. So that's the whole thing. What I will be doing is showing the whole change in its process, what we're doing, what we plan on doing, um, the, the places we're going to, the place that we will be moving into, how to conserve and consolidate 
also organize it so we're not killing each other going you know stepping over each other so we can live comfortably within that environment because like I said we've been spread out our kids are grown and out of the house and we're empty nesters so we've been living kind of free and hanging out in a three-bedroom house for uh, quite a while now now my hope is that I'll be able to share it in a way that makes sense for you and if you are in a similar situation and I can explain it in the proper way with the information that I can gather so you can have all the wicks and gadgets and and all the things that make sense so if you are going through this you know similar kind of you know what that makes sense this is going to save you money and the reasons and what for so you can kind of gather that information if it's a budget savvy savvy kind of idea um, that makes sense to you too because we are wasting money um, we're wasting a lot of money. We've talked to a lot of people and if I would have known how much money in advance a couple years ago, we would have done this years ago. But we kept being told that we were moving so we didn't move. <laughs> so we are at that precipice, that, that overlooking cliff where we're seeing out to the future and trying to make plans so we make as smooth as a transition as possible as we go to the next step. And then once we get there, it's going to be adjusting to what that avenue of change is going to be as we prepare in the next four plus years um, for retirement. So we got, we got some time uh, that we have to uh, burn off before we can retire. And then when that retirement will be is a long awaited journey of, of vacation. We're going to cruise all over the United States and take in the sites that are America and even going to Canada and ah, so welcome to my channel uh, that's what you're gonna see here and we're gonna talk about truth we're gonna talk about stuff I'll try to put icons when I'm talking about life situations I'll put things when I have you know icons when I'm talking about grocery shopping and budget savvy ideas I'll put like I'll try to figure out ways to indicate what I'm talking about if I'm going shopping for like you know cosmetics or health and beauty or medication and things of that nature I'll put little icons to let you know what uh, exactly I'm talking about if I'm ranting because something went crazy or I'm dealing with something that just I'll put rant <laughs> against it so you guys are fully aware that Robin's going off her rocker but welcome to my channel this is what it is I'm talking about real life situations um, that you may be going through what you're dealing with if you've got dogs and you're dealing with vet situations or you have a, a bulldog or a Frenchie and you, there's things going on or if you have a vehicle and this is what's going on or you have a computer and this is what's going on you know break it down blonde style because it's not making sense and believe me I spend a lot of time on YouTube trying to make sense of stuff that just it should work but it's not working um, we'll work it out together okay sound good I hope so so thank you for coming to my channel thank you for following me on life's journey my you know living life's journey is just one step at a time figure out how things work so we can all work together so thank you for being here for following me over from my rock and robin and if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll uh, just enjoy the ride you guys take care love one another and I'll see you guys here soon